Hello, I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, and today I want to talk to you about optimal liver health. A couple body signals I want you to be aware of. There are certain foods that you might eat that are body signals to me that your liver might not be at 100%. I often talk about the radish. The radish is a bitter herb. And I was doing my studies for my natural health degree. I took a class on herbology. Herbs are very health, they're promotional to your optimal health in your body. Well, radishes are a bitter herb. That means bitter herbs kind of do this to your liver. So if radishes cause digestive distress, it's not that the radish is bad. You're going to want to start eating at least a half an apple every day. That red apple is going to help promote bile flow. A couple other vegetables that might bother you. Onions, eggs, garlic. They are not bad foods, but sometimes I'll have somebody come in and they have distress and it's because of cucumbers and eggs and onions. It's because your liver is not functioning at 100% causes that distress. Green peppers could do the exact same. Let me give you another liver tip. If you have coffee at 6 or 7 o'clock at night and there's caffeine in that coffee and you're going to be up for the next 24 to 48 hours, it's not the caffeine. It's your liver. Your liver is not able to process that caffeine as logically as it should be. I want you to talk, I'm going to tell you a few of the herbs that I personally take on a regular basis for my own liver. I take dandelion root every day. It helps promote liver function. I also take peppermint leaf every day. It helps promote optimal liver function. A couple others, you could try milk thistle. Milk thistle helps promote optimal liver function. Glutathione, what a big word, glutathione. It helps a process in your body called glucuronation. That helps get rid of all those unwanted, unfriendly chemicals inside of your body. Let me give you some drugless action steps, all right? A half a red apple every day. At least a third cup of beets and one medium carrot. Minimize any type of chemical that you're putting on your body that has toxins in it. That's so important. If radishes bother you, listen, I'm going to word this to you, in love, of course, start eating radishes slowly, adding them to your diet. Over time, you'll notice that you don't have any challenges with them anymore, cha-ching, your liver's functioning optimally. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.